Welcome to River City Live. We have a really fun show today, but there's going to be kind of an after party. At least that's what I'm calling okay, it. Okay, so yeah, so <laughs> funny you bring that up because I was just going to say, fun fact, that opening you just saw happened at an art walk, which is always the first Wednesday of every month downtown. And that's exactly where we're going to be tonight at the art walk. Yeah, and actually I think it might have been the same date yeah. too, because it's right before our show started that's three right. years ago, that opening. So <laughs> so anyway, we're going to be hanging out there and we love the art walk. Oh, it's yeah. just so it's fun. And, you know, we're kicking off the fall, obviously, and a lot of programming with CW. Mm -hmm. So CW17, they have a new lineup coming out on Sundays, Sundays, and that's really cool. If you think about it, it's the first time they've done that, yeah. especially in this market. Now, mm -hmm. Ranch, you had a chance to go out to LA to get really the inside scoop of everything that's happening. Oh, yeah. But it's all about empowering women on the Sunday shows because you have Supergirl and Charm, the reboot of Charm. Oh, yeah, and those, I met the ladies from Charm. Great, great crew, and can't wait to share their story and tell you more about the show. But what's going on tonight is just all of us are going to be out there hanging out, meeting and greeting. So please come say hi. And then Nitrogen Creamery, they're going to be out there with us as well at the little booth we're going to be at, giving away free Sundays, again, to promote Sunday. Ah. Sunday. If you want to go ahead and knock out your holiday shopping, rethreaded. We've had them on the show many times. They're probably one of my favorite charities in Jacksonville. As far as, I said, buying your holiday gifts, they have the gray scarves and the leather earrings that were made from airplane seats and mm -hmm. all of these great products. And then the benefits and proceeds of all of these products they sell go to help stop and, and help women that are in the sex trade. So it's just a, it's another opportunity for you to support an organization that empowers women. It's kind of all in one theme there. And so they're going to be with us with a pop-up store tonight at Art Walk. Another thing we're going to have, which is kind of funny, it's a generator that when you touch it, <laughs> your hair stands up. So obviously, if you have the opportunity to stop by, definitely play around with that, take some pictures, <laughs> post it on Instagram or whatever. <laughs> Yesterday, we were kind of experimenting with it <laughs> here. And uh, let's just hope we have it all dialed in for tonight <laughs> because we weren't quite sure what we were doing. All right, so make sure you guys come see us. We're going to be across the street from Mocha on Laura Street. You'll see our big, bright booth, Mark, Eden, myself, and a lot of our CW family that is going to be man in the booth. And there might be an appearance from a few superheroes. I think this is true. We know a guy, girl. A so gal. You never know. <laughs> we know a gal. <laughs> so yeah, definitely stop by. I'm really looking forward to that. A lot of times when you have these things like these like after work functions, you're like, man, this one we're really excited yeah, about. Art walk is so fun. All right, now shifting gears over to Halloween here in Florida. Well, there's something else you could carve besides a pumpkin, and that is a pineapple. <laughs> and people are talking about this, but Eden, you discovered this years ago. We actually did a segment on this. We did. A couple of years ago, we were, uh, we were out at uh, Mellow Mushroom at the time, but we did a segment on it, and we, these guys both carved pineapples. People are doing this now as jack-o'-lanterns. And here's what I love about this. The inside of your pineapple, I find more uses for I like pineapple <laughs> yeah. versus all that goopy stuff from the pumpkin. Plus, it's got the built-in scary hair and everything, and it's easier. It really is. So, you know, I think sometime between now and Halloween, we'll have to do this again, right? And it's just as intense carving a pineapple as a pumpkin, so, you know, it's still the same fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like it, and I like it like you said, the texture, the hair, all that stuff, it's ready to go. It's, I think maybe maybe yeah. I might skip the pumpkin patch <laughs> this year with the kids and be like, we're doing pineapples. Exactly. <laughs> wait, you know wait, what, wait. they're not old enough to know that it's a time-honored tradition, right? We, <laughs> we're in just, Florida. We do like you do with a dog, you're just like, uh, yeah, you guys have a pumpkin allergy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like, wow, we're allergic to everything, Dad. I'm like, you are. Yes. We were talking about this on Friday, though. When it comes to, like, picking out pumpkins, my kids always go for the biggest <laughs> yeah. one, and it's, like, $50. I'm like, yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> if you have, you have to carry it from here to the car, if you could do that, you know, then, then I'm all over. And then the day before Halloween, my hands are all tired from trying to carve mm -hmm. it out and stuff because they just sit there and they watch. Okay. Or they draw the faces mm -hmm. on there and are super elaborate. I'm like, oh. no. Yeah, no. But, like, did you ever ca carve a skull into your pumpkin? No. Ah, well, so I'm pivoting a little bit because there is an asteroid that is called the Skull Asteroid that, or Skull Comet that's going to be passing by the Earth. Ah! Yes, November 11th. It's actually passed by once before uh, in 2015, 302,000 miles away from the Earth. And the next time you'll have a chance to see it is 2088. So, Ooh, you know. that's right around the corner. Yeah, so <laughs> so be sure to catch this one. Look at that. That is crazy. So scary. 
In it's not going to crash into us? Uh, not in this case, but if we were part of the Marvel or DC universe, we should be afraid. Yeah, definitely, yeah. So yeah, 24 million miles away. That's how far away it's going to be. Yeah, but it's still too close. To <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, look at that. That is a skull. Yeah. That is a creepy skull. Yeah, totally, totally. Man. So, so we were talking about.